Hello guys, today I want to show you one authorization trick in Laravel related to resourceful controllers. And I want to show you before and after. This is the code of a typical controller we actually generate with our quick admin panel. So in each method, we check for the access for task access, task create, task edit and other gates which is fine this is one way of doing that and i talked about other ways and a lot of stuff about gates roles and permissions in another video longer video i will link that in the description below everything you need to know basically about roles and permissions in laravel but for this particular case there's one thing since it's resourceful controller laravel allows you to do authorize resource so in the docs authorizing resource controllers you may find this if the methods of your controllers correspond to the default expected signature, like route model binding here, passing the parameters, then you can use authorize resource with class of the model and URL part of the model as well, which in my case is task class and task. So let's try to implement exactly that. So I copy and paste the construct and then when we enable that construct here then of course we need to replace that with task class and then parameter task then we don't need to have those if statements because we can move the check into policy so we have a separate task policy and in the task policy we implement the same task access task show the same gates as rules of the policy which then makes our controller much shorter. So we don't need to do any abort ifs, anything in the controller methods. And also in the controller methods, we don't need to authorize each method separately. So we don't need to do this authorize or if auth user can or something like that. We just rely on the controller constructor to implement those rules. And then in the actual admin panel, if I refresh, nothing should break it still work and i'm logged in as admin so i have the permission to create the task to edit the task and all of that powered by authorize resource here so this is one way to make your controller shorter offloading that to policy and tying it all together with authorized resource and again a longer video about roles and permissions will be linked in the description below and if you want to generate something like this a simple admin panel you can check out our quickadminpanel.com that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.